Section 4.5.1, Police and the Bill of Rights. Hello, I'm Dr. Adam McKee, and today we're examining how the Bill of Rights impacts policing and protects individual liberties in the United States. We'll delve into key amendments, specifically the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 14th, and explore their roles in shaping law enforcement practices and upholding justice. The Fourth Amendment is crucial in policing as it safeguards citizens from unreasonable searches and seizures. This provision ensures that government officials, including police officers, must have a justified reason, typically a warrant, to search an individual's property or seize their belongings. We'll discuss the requirement for probable cause and how warrants must specify the areas to be searched and the items to be seized, emphasizing the balance between law enforcement needs and personal privacy. Moving on to the Fifth Amendment, which is fundamental in criminal justice, it guarantees critical protections for individuals accused of crimes. These include the right to a grand jury in serious cases, protection against double jeopardy, the right against self-incrimination, and the assurance of due process. This amendment is a cornerstone of fair treatment under the law, and we'll explore how these rights are upheld in the criminal justice system and their implications for police procedures. The Sixth Amendment guarantees the accused the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury, the right to be informed of the nature and cause of accusations, to confront witnesses, and to have assistance from counsel for their defense. This segment will cover how these rights influence police investigations and the overall judicial process, ensuring that the accused are treated fairly and justly in accordance with the law. The Fourteenth Amendment extends the protection of due process to actions taken by state governments, including local police departments. It requires states to provide equal protection under the law to all individuals and plays a crucial role in how state laws and police actions are scrutinized under federal standards. We will discuss how this amendment serves as a bridge to apply federal constitutional protections at the state level, affecting everything from traffic stops to capital punishment cases. Throughout this discussion, we will address the challenges and controversies that arise in enforcing these constitutional protections. This includes debates over what constitutes reasonable actions by police, the tension between public safety and individual rights, and the evolving legal interpretations that impact law enforcement practices. The Bill of Rights sets the foundation for policing practices and the protection of civil liberties in the United States. By understanding these constitutional safeguards, both law enforcement officers and citizens can better navigate the complexities of legal rights and responsibilities. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of the Bill of Rights and its critical impact on policing and individual freedoms. If you found this discussion enlightening, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think are the biggest challenges in balancing police powers and civil liberties today? Stay tuned for more in-depth discussions on important legal and justice topics. This has been, Police and the Bill of Rights, with Dr. Adam McKee. Continue to engage and seek understanding as we delve into the vital issues at the intersection of law enforcement and constitutional rights.